Hi, so we are going to be asking Matt, the builder, uh, about another question that he has had throughout the years. And what was that question, Matt? A lot of people ask uh, when I do videos on wrapping what type of varnish that I prefer to use. And um, not all varnishes are built the same. Um, I get my varnish just from Ace Hardware just because it's always in stock and it's easy to grab. Uh, one th any brand is probably good, but the one thing you do want to make sure is you're getting spar varnish. Uh, this just happens to be a gloss finish. Uh, that's just personal preference. But the spar part of the varnish is very important. Um, spar varnish is the preferred varnish because it is designed and manufactured for exterior use. Uh, the term spar is in reference to boats. Uh, for the big mass that would hold the sails would be the spar and you'd have to have a particular kind of varnish that could withstand the elements. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, for boats, Matt. <laughs> it's a marine based varnish and it's because it takes a lot of abuse. Sun, UV light, water, Boats, spar. <laughs> you can look it up. That's where spar comes from. Uh, maybe because in our area it's so readily available because we do live in a little bit of a marine town. Well, that's why. That's why. I don't know. Um, but spar part is important. You don't want to use regular varnish. Uh, make sure it is an outside exterior grade. But the spar varnish, what it does is it offers flexibility. Can you get it at Walmart? No, probably not. <laughs> um, I've never seen it at Walmart. Uh, but most uh, hardware stores will probably have some form of spar, but usually there's only one or two cans. Home Depot? I haven't had much luck at Home Depot <laughs> with the spar, but there are some there from time to time. There's the different Ace. brands. Ace is the only place. Ace is my reliable place uh, to find it. Not a plug or commercial for Ace, it's just where I get my spar from. But it's flexible. And right here I'm uh, working on actually uh, putting playing varnish on these wraps, but as everybody knows, Bamboo or fly rods are flexible uh, by design. They're supposed to be. Uh, so that's a lot of action on varnish. And uh, just a plain old straight varnish will dry more rigid and it'll be uh, subjected to a lot of stress cracks. So you want your varnish to be flexible. Therefore, that's the spar component. Also, because it is built for outdoor, uh, it holds up to UV degradation. Uh, UV lights can destroy varnish. So always make sure you pick out a spar varnish regardless of brand. Um, when I do my wraps, I do put a little bit of uh, thinner into it just because I want it to penetrate my wraps a little more thoroughly, particularly on the first couple wraps. I just kind of eyeball it, uh, maybe at a one to four ratio. Um, and when I do my dips, I do straight varnish without any thinning, but I think the thinner uh, goes on to wraps a little bit better, seals it, and also uh, with do you your put, thin. Do you put that vinyl on the wraps before you put the varnish? I just mix it up in a little cup. Do you put it on and then put that on? I mix the thinner and the varnish together in a little cup, and then I apply it with a toothpick. Oh. Okay. And uh, you can use uh, DNA. You can use mineral spirits. You can use terps. You can use paint thinner. I mean. Thins oil-based paints, stains, and varnishes. Do you use that? Um, you don't need to, but I prefer it. Uh, it does dry quicker with the solvents in there, and I think it flows a little bit better, and especially the first couple wraps because the threads are really thirsty and they're going to want to absorb the varnish. This wraps up spar varnish, and ask Matt. Thank you. The builder. <laughs>